Hey there. So what's free is life-changing and is available at any moment and can actually bring ecstaticness to your life? Well, the answer is good quality breathing. Good quality breathing. Yeah, you heard that right. Um, we don't need to make things so complicated when we really want to feel great. Um, it can be something very simple. So I have um, taught, and if you've been in one of my longer sessions, I often will pose the question, who in here has a breathing practice? And a lot of times I get some giggles about that or when people say, yeah, I practice all day long. But the fact is, if, if you leave breathing up to randomness, you probably aren't breathing very well and you're probably suffering from it. Um, and so I have, I have a breathing practice. I teach a breathing as part of Spiral Impact. Um, but every once in a while, you get an opening where you end up learning something about something you, knew, you thought you knew a lot. And that happened to me recently. I went to the library, and I was just mulling around there, and I found this book, Breathe, by James Naster. And the subtitle is The New Science of a Lost Art. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting to like this book, and I could not put it down. And I'm going to buy a copy of it for my, my bookshelf because I think it's that valuable. I learned a lot. He goes back, he goes back centuries and explores how breathing was integrated to cultures, how it was used for healing, um, it, and it's pretty fascinating. He is also a very good writer, which I really appreciate. Um, so some of the things that um, I thought was interesting, why well, well, I've always known that exhaling is really important, that exhale may be more important than an inhale. And that has to do with you really need to have a, a lot of carbon dioxide. And that was really eye-opening to me. He also cited some areas where people had some, some um, mental and developmental disabilities, like ADHD, that were incredibly helped by proper, good breathing. And probably one of the most um, interesting um, studies that he cited was a, a person back in the 20th century that worked with people with really severe scoliosis and how they could heal scoliosis with breathing. There's also lots of studies in here around working with elite athletes and how could they, they could even um, in, enhance their performance even more through proper breathing, because even if you're breathing well, you may not be quite as good as you can get. So I highly recommend this book, but I'm also going to, if you're watching this on LinkedIn, I'm going to segue here and end this in a, in a minute, but I'm going to, I'm, I am going to share with you a couple things that I do on a regular basis that are good entry level points for good breathing practice. And so my gift to you and I will tell you that they will, they, they can change your life in a really positive way. They're free and they're available anytime you want them. So, so what are they? Well, so one thing is um, in my practice of Aikido, we do something that's called Masogi breathing, which means mind-body purification. And it's a rhythmic breathing that is in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now, I'm going to have a link to a short video where I, I share with you how to sit or kneel and do the movement with that Masogi breathing. And then I th think it's about a five minute practice if you wanna join me for that. And again, I start most of my days with five minutes at minimum of Masogi breathing. This morning, cause I'm inspired right now, I did 15 minutes and um, who knows, I might even go longer than that because it's, it is, it's so powerful. The other thing that I think is really important, at the beginning of the pandemic, of course, COVID really affects lungs. And I was, I was helping a, a friend of mine who's an incredible physical therapist, Denise Dyg is her name. And I helped her produce a series of videos that are lung health and pneumonia prevention. And I'll put a link to her Vimeo series in the show notes here. But one of the things she taught me, and this was life, again, life changing for me, is taping my mouth shut at night to force me to breathe in my nose. 
And that might sound strange, t mouth taping. What are you talking about, Karen? Well, Nastor talks about that in here too. And by the way, this was published in 2020. Um, but he takes, a, he takes a piece of tape and he puts it over the center of his mouth. I feel really uncomfortable doing that. It makes me feel a little claustrophobic. Denise shared with me a different way of doing it, which is to actually take a, this is kinesio tape, and actually it's called the original kinesio tape because some of these are a little more sticky than you want to have around your mouth. But original kinesio tape, cut a couple inches off, and then I trim it a little bit on the whip and cut a little opening for my mouth like that. And then what you do is take the, the back off of it, purse your lips, and stick it on there. And it'll feel a little funny when you first do it, but what it'll, it'll do, and actually I find it just totally relaxes my face. It's amazing. But the muscles around your mouth will engage so that your mouth is apt to stay closed. Um, so it's not forcing it, but the muscles around it will put your mouth in a closed position. But you can still get up and take a drink of water, answer the phone. Um, you can still open your mouth so that it's not so claustrophobic. And I tell you, I know I was snoring a bit, people told me, and um, I don't snore anymore, and I sleep so soundly when I do this. And I don't do it, I don't anymore do it every night, but I, but I do it, um, you know, I do it when I'm feeling a little bit more stressed than usual. And um, also, if I wake up at night, I'll put one on if I don't have one on already, and I can just, again, feel it relaxing me. And again, you're gonna get those deeper, warmer, cleaner breaths and that's the whole piece of breathing through your nose it it cleans the air so that's it i'd love to hear what you do what you practice and what any kind of results you get in the in the notes and if you got any other questions for me please ask thanks so much bye bye